cool. Hair looks pink. <laughs> That's <laughs> lovely. Yeah, yeah, I dyed it last night. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because every wow. time I wash it, it comes out. Yeah. So I, funny. I, I've been having to. Um, learn how to do it myself. Wow. Well, that's funny because isn't that one of the lyrics in your new song? Yeah, that's yeah. why I did it. So really? no one could say <laughs> you can't. The new single is called Birthday. Yeah. Tell us everything about that. <laughs> well, birthdays are like my favorite things ever and celebrating other people's birthdays is my favorite. So I just thought I need to write a birthday song. The funny thing as well is that um, it isn't only such an a normal birthday song like you know happy birthday here the, here's the cake here are the candles mm -hmm. so it's really kind of more about being yourself more and don't give a shit to anything else that happened in the last years yeah um, so where did all this inspiration come from well I think on your birthday we however you feel on your birthday should be how you feel every day like I, I'd wish that everyone just did whatever they wanted to do without worrying about what other people think of them which is what I went through for, for such a long time I was so living my life worried about what people think and that was so stressful and and I finally am getting out of that now and I I think this song portrays that and yeah it's kind of just like forgetting bad relationships and bad times that I've had and just forgetting it all on your birthday but really I'm trying to do that every day. What was the shittiest birthday gift ever <laughs> given to you? Probably like the general sock <laughs> but to be honest I really love getting socks now because I lose them a lot mm -hmm. and I need them so if you want to get me some presents like socks fine. Do you know what I tend to do this um, Whenever I do like an Instagram post or something, I say, Monster Munch are my favorite crisps. My fans bring Monster Munches mm -hmm. to every show. So I'm trying to like find other things, you know, like I do like diamond rings. So I do, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, don't do that. But yeah, it, it's, I can't even remember a bad one. I think birthdays have honestly been my favorite thing ever, so. I can't think of a bad one. I uh, read a very, very funny um, tweet from your manager mm -hmm. <laughs> that you just retweeted on Twitter. So Anne Marie sounds like an angel when she sings, but she sounds she talks like a cab driver. <laughs> yeah, she says this all the time. She's she used to say it all the time. She couldn't believe when I sang. She was like, I just can't believe that's coming out of your mouth. And then she hasn't said it for a while, and then the other day she said it, and I was sitting right next to her, and I was like, I am here, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, she, she loves saying that. And then she tried to do an impression of me, and it, it wasn't that good. She, <laughs> could, she could improve on that. But um, that uh, led me to the question, what was the meanest thing ever that you just read or heard on social media about yourself? Do you remember some mean stuff? Mm, yeah, like, I, saying that I was fat or ugly, they're pretty bad. Yeah, it's just like... I think they're just like normal things that they're not like too in depth, you know, which is good. They're just like the general cusses, <laughs> which is all right. Uh, I just had an interview with a newcomer girl. She's very new in the business and she was, uh, when she was here last year, she was, I guess she was 16. Wow. And she told me that her parents just say, um, uh, they, they prohibited to Google herself. They said to her, you don't, do that ever, ever, never ever, mm. because it's so horrible. You read very mean things. Yeah. Do you just do that, Googling yourself now and then? I only Google myself to see what questions people are asking most about me. Because you know when you go on Google, you can say, does Amory, and then the rest of the question comes up. That's really funny to me. <laughs> but to be honest, I don't really go searching for it because it's, you're always going to end up reading a bad comment. There's never not going to be a bad comment. So the best thing to do is just not look or block people because I love blocking people. Same to me. <laughs> I have thousands of people blocked on Twitter and yeah, just muting people and blocking everyone is a really good thing to do.